we met up with Koji Mizui on the trail to find out more about the No Name 100. My original plan was to run the Nobuyama Ultra in the spring. After that, I was going to run the Shihatsu 5 Mountains in the fall. Under these circumstances, both events were cancelled. As for myself, I enjoy running itself. Even after the competition decided not to take place, I continued to run. My friend saw this and gave me an opportunity to present the results of my running. That was the No Name 100, a 100km run on local trails. The start of the race was at 9 p.m. Even though it was nighttime, it was still hot and humid and my body wasn't in very good shape. The Mr. River ran up front and got rid of all the spider silk so I was able to run comfortably. At the beginning of the race, I was determined to run everything but the climbs. Then Sheen San, who has a lot of experience in long races, advised me to work hard on the climbs and descents, but your time won't change much. On the fourth lap, after 4 a.m., the heat and humidity eased and the Higurashi began to chirp all at once. The long night had dawned. I was glad that I didn't have to use the headlights anymore. Eventually, though, I'd have to use the headlights one last time. On lap 6, Taro and Mori Chang did the pacing for me. My running ability was on the verge of ending, and I started to stop and stretch more often. I was starting to lose my patience and couldn't talk about anything interesting, but Taro encouraged me to take it easy because I'm not usually funny. After the seventh lap, I could hardly run. I had no desire to quit. I could walk, so I kept walking without stopping as long as I could. There were several points along the course where you could take a dip and it was like an oasis. On the final 9 laps, as we passed the point where the first half of the course had a series of climbs and descents, I felt confident that I would complete the 100 km. I was happy to be free from this arduous task and thankful for all the things on the side of the course. I was disappointed when I found out that I needed to wear my headlights again as the finish time was going to be at night, though. With the support of my friends, I was able to run 100 kilometers in the back mountains, which was a great joy. I'd like to thank my friends who prepared in advance for this event. We had an incident before and after the start of the race where the course was impassable due to the long rain, but my friends worked out a solution in a very tactful way. A few days after the finish, I resumed my daily run. What's next? 100 miles, I'm asked. And while that challenge isn't a bad one, I'd like to be on the side of supporting someone else's challenge next time if possible. As a mere fun runner, I have completed 9 laps of the trails around my home in 100 kilometers. I hope you get the message that even in this climate, you can find fun and challenges close to home. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.